from American actors who became governors, the former later elected president. The latter, known for the phrase, I'll be back. To Chima and Chinua, two of Africa's most famous authors, who, though not related, by some freaky coincidence, lived in the same house several years apart. And sadly, things did fall apart. To American T. Ribs and German M. Schumacher, Formula One aficionados, born on the same day. From America's first black ballerina to Robert Ballard, from Indian author, teacher of yoga, BKS Inyenga, who reminds us that we're not getting any younger, to the drama in Bahama and the rumble in the jungle, a killer and a chiller and the thriller in Manila, to Malala and Lilibeth, the former whose son was set in a SWAT district from an assassin's bullet, the latter, her royal majesty, whose empire the sun never set, to the exquisite beauty of our majestic universe. There's something for everyone right here, right now. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sotonye Afiesimama, and this is Today in History for the 5th of January. Coming up in today's Today in History, we have an aviation pioneer from the Caribbean islands, one of the Caribbean islands, a very generous employer who doubled his workers' pay and reduced their hours. Can you imagine that? And of course, Lots, lots more. Don't go anywhere. First, we'll begin with the guy from the Caribbean islands, Hubert Julian, born on this day in Trinidad and Tobago. He was an aviation pioneer, like I said earlier, the first black man to fly transatlantic solo and east to west coast of America. So this is Hubert Julian, who was born on this day in Trinidad and Tobago. An aviation pioneer, the first black man to fly transatlantic solo and east to west coast of America. Born on this day again in 1897. Next, we have happenings on this day, 1914. Henry Ford's workers were very happy today. This was the day that Henry Ford, following the great success of the Model T, American automobile, automobile maker Henry Ford raised his workers' pay from $2.40 a day to $5 a day and reduce the hours of the workday. Absolutely amazing. So Henry Ford, pictured here, who says in this quote, and I quote, paying good wages is not charity at all. It is the best kind of business. He couldn't have said it any better. He knew what he was doing it wasn't just, you know, giving charity, okay, well, I'm just going to, be nice to my workers. It was a nice thing to do to increase his workers' pay, but he knew that increasing their pay would motivate them to work even harder, to motivate them to be more dedicated to the company, motivate them to stay, you know, more than anything else. You know, he was going to keep his best workers, you know, with his within his company. So, again, Henry Ford on this day basically more than doubled his workers' pay from $2.40 to $5 a day and also reduced the hours. So that's history as it happened today. We hope that employers today would um, follow suit, follow the good example of Henry Ford. Obviously we're not expecting wages to double overnight. 
Um, this is a completely different era that would not be sustainable, not likely sustainable. Okay, let's move on now to the year 1925. Nellie Taylor Ross assumed office in Wyoming, becoming the first female governor in the United States. So that happened on this day in 1925 in the United States of America. If you're enjoying my content so far, do me a favor, guys. Please like, so give me a thumbs up, share to your various social media platforms, so Facebook, Twitter, if you've got those, your email, and of course, Pinterest, Blogger, Tumblr, LinkedIn, it's all here. Like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell, and click all. Thanks, guys. Appreciate your support. Let's carry on with the rest of the gist for today. So this is a site that millions of people around the world recognize. This, of course, is the Golden Great Bridge in San Francisco, in the state of California, in the country called the United States of America. So this was the day that construction began in 1933 of the Golden Gate Bridge, probably the most famous bridge in the world. Construction started today in 1933. It's a suspension bridge that once posted the longest main span in the world and that has been celebrated for the magnificence of its setting. Coming up next, one of the few black inventors recognized by mainstream America can you guess who this was? Well, the year was 1946, and his name is George Washington Carver, pictured right here. And this is a book that was written by Christina Vela, A Life. So must be biographical. George Washington Carver, on this day, the United States government designated the farmland upon which he grew as or he grew up rather, so that we don't confuse farmland with growing crops. So this was a farmland where George Washington Carver grew up. The United States government designated that farmland as a national monument. And on January 5th, so on this day in 1946, it was regarded as George Washington Carver Day officially in honor of one of the few black inventors recognized by mainstream America. So George Washington Carver was officially recognized on this day in 1946. Okay, let's move on now to the next event on this day as recorded in history. The year was 1998. Pictured here is Daniel Arab Moy, former president of Kenya. He was sworn in as president of Kenya for his fifth consecutive term, the longest serving president of Kenya ever. Fifth consecutive term. This was the day and the year was 1998. Last but not least for our today's Today in History, pictured here is Eusebio, famous Portuguese player, probably the most successful Portuguese player of all time. This was the day in 2014 that the Savior sadly died. Perhaps it says he was the greatest Portuguese football or soccer player of all time. The Savior, pictured here, died in Lisbon or Lisboa, as the Portuguese would say. This was the day in 2014 that we sadly lost you save you. In tomorrow's Today in History, four sisters in a sledge, but only one could fit in. Mozart having a madras and loads, loads more. Don't miss Today in History for the 6th of January. 
On that note, folks, we've come to the end of today's Today in History for the 5th of January. Thanks for dropping by and do not forget to join me tomorrow for Today in History for the 6th of January. Stay safe, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.